Hello everyone, welcome to Math is Fine. Our lesson for today is all about multiplying and dividing fractions. In this fraction, one half, what do we call one? Yes, you are right. It is a numerator. What is a numerator? The numerator shows how many parts you have. This numerator shows there is one part. How about two? Yes, two is the denominator. What is a denominator? The denominator shows how many parts the whole is divided into. This fraction shows it is divided into two parts. Since we know already what is a numerator and denominator, then let's proceed to our topic for today about multiplying and dividing fractions. First, we're going to discuss about multiplying fractions. Multiplying fraction by a fraction. In multiplying fraction by a fraction, Multiply the numerators of the first and the second fraction. Then, multiply also the denominators of the first and the second fraction. Lastly, reduce your answer to its lowest term if it is possible. For example, 2 third times 1 fourth. So, we're going to multiply both numerators of the first and the second fraction. So 2 times 1 is equal to 2. 3 times 4 is equal to 12. Look at the product 212. Is there any common factor between the two? Yes, you are right. 2 and 12 are both divisible by 2. So let's divide. 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1. 12 divided by 2 is equal to 6. Therefore, if we're going to multiply 2 third and 1 fourth, the answer is equal to 1 sixth. Another example, 4 seventh times 1 third. So let's multiply both numerators. 4 times 1 is equal to 4. 7 times 3 is equal to 21. Look at the product. Is there any common factor between 4 and 21? Alright, there's none. So, our final answer is 4 over 21. Multiplying whole number by a fraction and vice versa. How are we going to multiply a whole number by a fraction? Just like this example, 3 times 1 fifth. So first is we're going to put a denominator of 1 to the whole number. Then, multiply both numerators and both denominators. So 3 times 1 is equal to 3. 1 times 5 is equal to 5. Is there any common factor between 3 and 5? Yes, you are right. There's none. So this is our final answer. Another example. 3 8 times 9. So, first is we're going to put a denominator of 1 to the whole number. Then, multiply both numerators and both denominators. So, 3 times 9 is equal to 27. 8 times 1 is equal to 8. Look at this product. What kind of fraction is 27 8? All right. This is an improper fraction. How are we going to reduce improper fraction to its lowest term? Alright, we're going to divide the numerator by the denominator. So 27 divided by 8 is equal to 3. 3 times 8 is equal to 24. 27 minus 24 is equal to 3. Then, we take this remainder as our numerator and 8, the divisor, as our denominator. Therefore, 27 eighths or 3 and 3 eighths. This is our final answer. Next, we're going to discuss about 
Dividing fraction by a fraction. How are we going to divide fraction by a fraction? For example, 5 8 divided by 2 thirds. In dividing fraction by a fraction, first get the reciprocal of the divisor and proceed to multiplication. So we get the reciprocal of 2 thirds, which is 3 halves. Then, let's multiply. 5 times 3 is equal to 15. 8 times 2 is equal to 16. Therefore, 15 over 16 is our final answer. Another way of dividing fraction by a fraction is using a cross multiplication. For example, 5 8 divided by 2 thirds. So, let's cross multiply. 5 times 3 is equal to 15. 8 times 2 is equal to 16. And this is our final answer. Next, we're going to discuss about dividing whole number by a fraction. For example, 5 divided by 3 fourth. In dividing whole number by a fraction, First, we're going to put a denominator of 1 to the whole number. Then, get the reciprocal of the divisor and proceed to multiplication. So, 5 times 4 is equal to 20. 1 times 3 is equal to 3. What kind of fraction is 20 over 3? Yes, you are right. It is an improper fraction. So, to reduce an improper fraction to its lowest term, we're going to divide the numerator by the denominator. 20 divided by 3 is equal to 6. 6 times 3 is equal to 18. 20 minus 18 is equal to 2. We take this remainder as our numerator and 3, the divisor, as our denominator. 23rd or 6 and 2 thirds. This is our final answer. The last but not the least is dividing a fraction by a whole number. For example, 2 fifths divided by 2. In dividing fraction by a whole number, put a denominator of 1 to the whole number. Then, get the reciprocal of the divisor and proceed to multiplication. Next, multiply both numerators and both denominators. So 2 times 1 is equal to 2. 5 times 2 is equal to 10. Look at this product. Is there any common factor between 2 and 10? Yes, you are right. 2 and 10 are both divisible by 2. So 2 divided by 2 is equal to 1. 10 divided by 2 is equal to 5. If we're going to divide 2 fifths by 2, the answer is equal to 1 fifth. And this is our final answer. I hope that you understand our lesson for today. And thank you for watching.